Wow. That is seriously, seriously sick. So sick. What on earth? Amazing. And for the second day, we've unfortunately been caught in the storm. Storm Theta has hit Madeira. But unfortunately, that is what outside looks like. So I don't think we're gonna be going there, are we? Where should we go? That's exactly where we're going. So today we're gonna to make use of the spa facilities in the hotel. I'm really excited for that. I think we're gonna get a massage and we're just gonna be chilling in the jacuzzi. So I'll see you down there. So the jacuzzi here gets cleaned after each use. So we're just waiting for that. Well, that is lovely. That is lovely yeah. So this is gonna be us for the next few hours. I'm gonna edit some photos and stick them on my Instagram. So if you're not following that, follow me there at ChristianMJC. Click the link in the description below and you'll be able to find me there. And there's also a tropical shower here for the rainy days. You can do a rainy day in the spa. So we were getting total cabin fever back in the hotel. So we decided to drive to our first hike. But on the way, as we're driving through these hills, we saw this incredible waterfall. Check this out. We had to stop because that is amazing. This is exactly what I imagined Madeira to be like. I feel like we're gonna see way more, way better than that. What do you think? So we decided to drive into the mountains to the first hike that we're gonna be doing and we have not been blessed with weather, unfortunately. We've got Rain Max on, fully waterproofed. I'm and we are both pretty tired because- so, I'm we... in for a pl Me? Uh, if you wanna go. Oh. You, you can go. No. No, 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 you I go. I would never. Honestly, Ever I'll let you to step on your toes. Well, no, look, this is your opportunity. So we're to talk. outside a really authentic Madeiran bar. Yeah. And we're gonna go and throw a poncho down our throat because we're really tired because I'm sure he won't get into it. But we had a little fallout last night because obviously Matt's a really bad snorer um, and I couldn't get any sleep. So resulted in me having to wake him up a few times. Nick, but anyway, uh, we're gonna go and get a few ponchos. And you're gonna say sorry for everything that happened last no, night. No, so yeah, we're gonna grab some ponchos and hopefully that will resolve Nick's snoring issue that he has because he has obstructive sleep apnea. If you guys are interested, get on Google, check it out. If you have it, be concerned. We're operating on about two and a half hours, three hours. I mean, an hour. Anyway, John's poncho, here we come. I wanna have a fight with you, interestingly. You want to? Can we do it here? <laughs> John's poncho. And you don't take half? No. Three to fifty. Oh, we'll get one again. Uh, we've got three euros ten. <laughs> right, so we made it to John's poncho and we got two ponchas. And if you are wondering what poncha is, it's these really authentic drinks from Madeira. It contains orange, lemon and rum and we need it to spice up our lives a bit. So here we go, cheers. Woo! Dude, that is well strong. And they're generous with the alcohol. Ready for the hike? In this weather. So Nick was just saying, this is exactly what makes us British. There's absolutely nobody else here. Sing it down with rain. You can always trust two British people to be out. Treating it like a summer's day. It's not even that bad. He looks like he's been in the shower. Tumble down here, death. There's no other way of putting it. It's just that death. Gonna have a really, really turbulent fall. Really turbulent fall. So one benefit of coming on hikes when it is pouring down with rain. No, really anyway. You'll not encounter anybody else. Ooh. Only the other maniacs that think it's a good idea to hike in weather like this. So if you do need a refreshment on your way up, there's a little snack bar, Flora de Selva. I don't think it's open there. Wow. Getting our first little glimpse of what we're gonna be experiencing on this trip with the Madeiran views on the Madeiran hikes. So we found a crossroads. Is it A or is it B? 
I think this is it. Okay, so it looks like we've made it, but it's been so cloudy. I just really hope we're actually gonna see something. We might get lucky, it's really dry. Oh, whoa. whoa. Wow, okay, you look like you're having a shit. What? Yeah. Wow. That is seriously, seriously sick. So sick. What on earth? So amazing. What are your thoughts? In beautiful. Without the swearing. Absolute best views I've ever seen. Proper wet. It's got really, really, really wet. We're legitimate. If this interests you, we're legitimately in a cloud. We're in a cloud, so that's why it's like really volatile, the rain. But a second ago, you could obviously like, wow. Geez, oh, good. right, it's really getting wet. Yeah, okay. Shall we move? That's, I think we should move. That's, that's Unbelievable. Good. Yeah. Like, I feel like I'm gonna have to return because the beauty of this hike is the ride up here isn't that long. Yeah. Like so the walk was what, here. 40 minutes? 30 minute walk up here. We have probably got a little bit unlucky with um, with the cloud cover, but to be honest, that kind of made the view a little bit in that you it see did. the clouds sort of like. But I do want to come back when we see the clouds actually sunk into the valleys. Yeah, that was So we can see the top of. I'd love to see a sunset above the clouds as well. Yeah. I think that's probably well, that is the plan. Though. And also a sunrise, if we can get up in time. If he doesn't snore so much. Surreal. Yeah. It's awe inspiring. Yeah, go on. Another adjective. That's it for me. What about you? Uh, go on. Give us another. Green. So this is obviously what it looks like when it's not super cloudy. And this is what we want to come back for at some point because that <laughs> is amazing. My mum and dad would love this part though. What do you reckon? Yeah, I'm not really into birds yet, but it's something that when I'm older, I'm can see that it's going to be something about. You know, Look we've just them. got the perfect yeah. demographic. That's Whenever it. there's birds. So I think I'm having the realization that my coat isn't waterproof. It's in fact showerproof, which means, well, it copes well with showers, but when it comes to torrential rainfall like this, I'm soaked. Oh. Wow, what a hike. The hike part of it wasn't the highlight it was just a hike it was just another hike obviously oh, yeah. we weren't blessed with great weather but it was so worth it at the end to see that view however probably just be a little bit more cautious with the weather i would yeah, say I think if weather. You but you know if you're british then you know you'll have no problem because <laughs> that we did that's a positive actually it was even better do you know what i wouldn't have done it when it was sunny i would have rather have done it when it was rainy because you know being british that's what we yeah. it's what we do anyway off we go for some food salt in there, it's got chives in there as well. Garlic, butter, melted butter. It's good. Okay. First oyster, do it without gagging. Oh, 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 oh. I didn't even get the oyster. Oh, you're meant to use the fork to loosen it. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, there we go. How was that? Yeah, it's nice. It was nice, yeah? yeah? I think he's lying. I think anybody that says, that was amazing after an oyster, or well, that was good after an oyster, I think it's a lie. I don't know, let me know if you like oysters. Let me know in the comments. It's really fresh. I love anything that tastes like the sea, and it literally tastes like, <laughs> <laughs> tastes like sea salt, basically. They charge you by the weight. There's no fish on that. And like, I'm a strong guy. And, and you're fine. struggling with This is called scorpion fish. It's very, very meaty. We've got it in some garlic sauce, put some lemon on it. I love lemon on fish. It always brings out the flavor. So we're gonna have a little taste. It's very flavoursome. So it's been done on the barbecue. And you can definitely taste the charcoal flavour. We've got sweet potatoes which are green. I've never had green sweet That's potatoes in my life. One of the most fresh sweet potatoes that I've ever tasted. Go and have a go yourself. If you've seen a sweet potato like that, please let me know. Let me know down below. And why is it green as well? Because I don't know about you, but they're orange. It's definitely a sweet potato. Only downside portion size. Yeah. So here we go, 2.0. That is lovely. Shrimp risotto, how is it? Have it. Come here. <laughs> just have this it. This is what you want. I just want my vegetables for my banana. 
on my scabbard fish, I believe it's called, from very, very deep in the ocean. It is very Madeiran. Interesting combination. I like it. It's not a very meaty fish. It's got a different texture. Can I ask you? Yeah. I like mushy. Yes, that is exactly how I'd describe it. But it's a nice mushy. It's not a, uh, you know, a, a horrible texture, like a, a gooey. Yeah, it is good. I'm enjoying it.